marriage i keep saying it and i've said it numerous times without numbers that marriage is not for the weak marriage is not a child's play marriage is not a place where you just go in on a journey you just wake up one day and you decide to wait to, to walk in no marriage is not for any other person that is it now many people don't really believe the spiritual aspects in life in general when you tell them do this when you tell them don't do this they'll tell you i ain't a bag i don't believe in all those things those things are superstition my darling pray you don't encounter any problem or any challenges that is when you will know that there's nothing like superstition there's nothing like <laughs> it does not exist that you will know that this life eh, <laughs> this life is all about war problem battle so you that want to fight you must be physically what strong you must be fit now there are so many people or there are some people that they don't really need noise i don't know if i'm making sense maybe those people that knows about this will understand what i'm saying yoruba will say yoruba will say i want me or you fiari wo some people edge no want noise some people don't really need noise that's the reason why it is very important that we should seek the face of god in whatever we are doing even the bible in proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 says that in whatever we are doing we should commit everything into god's hands and lean not into our own understanding that is the reason why whatever you're doing it is very important you don't lean into your understanding lean onto God's hands depend commit everything into God's hands seek for God's direction don't seek for man direction don't seek for your pastor's direction your pastor can tell you do go ahead and it might not be really the plan from, from of God now that we have so many fake pastors here and there so many geos here and there so many shepherds here and there so I don't really believe I'm not saying that whatever your pastor tells you is wrong but it is important that you yourself as an individual you hear directly from god now there's a particular person who we all know nonywood actress a celebrity they are both celebrated that got married two years ago that is latif adidemeji and mobingbe i was going through her pictures on instagram because she's the kind of person i love her so much she's talented she's beautiful you know she's good i just like her i like her act, uh, acting in, in in terms of acting i like her so much I was going through our pictures, normal now, you know, go through pictures, and all of a sudden I I, I decided, okay, let me drop, let me drop a comment. And when I clicked to the comment, when I went to the comment section, I said I see all manner of <laughs> all manner of things that people were saying uh, about a uh, child or no child. Please, before I go on, let me just drop the comment. Let me drop what those people wrote down, down our comment section. Please just go through it. now this was what different people wrote down and i'm very certain that down deep inside her she must be very, feeling really bad you know we all see what you know they all come outside on social media they laugh they play but inside nobody knows what's going on nobody knows what is going on i'm not particular of what these people wrote but what i'm saying is there are some people that they don't really need to make noise now i've seen i've done a lot of research i've done a lot of a lot of statistics a lot of research and i've come on i've seen that out of 100 percent of people that do elaborate wedding people that do, are doing elaborate wedding 100 percent of these people 80 percent are always having problems with their marriage they are always have a problem a one problem one challenge or the other with their marriage out of 100% of people that have done elaborate wedding, elaborate wedding that the whole, as in, you will know that yes, something happened. 80% of them always end up having one challenge or the other. You see that they have challenge with childbearing, they have challenge with infidelity, they have challenge with this, with that. They must always have challenges. That's the reason why you must be very careful. You must be very careful. There are some people they will tell that as a lady, you must not marry a yellow man. As a man, you must not marry a yellow woman. Many people say those things are filthy. They don't count all these things as <laughs> something. They see it as nothing. But in the spiritual aspect, <laughs> it is far beyond what you are saying. 
If it was possible for God to open our eyes spiritually, you know that a lot of things are happening in the spiritual realm, which we humans we don't know. So many people are into trouble. I mean, wed marriage, mar so many marriages are into trouble, into probate, into one challenge or the other because of this elaborate wedding. Not everybody that, that are doing elaborate wedding, that they are going scot free. Some people did elaborate wedding and there's no problem with them. They don't have any issue, they don't have any challenges, and everything is going on smoothly. But out of 100% of them, 80% always have problems. So my dear brothers and sisters, what I would just tell you, if you are still single, please, please and please, calm down, relax yourself. The moment you've gotten your partner, your spouse, you're sure of this person, that this person is the right person for you, my dear darlings, calm down, relax. I know it's common within among ladies. No, many ladies want to have an elaborate wedding. They want to have a wedding that it will be the talk of it. That people will say, yes, ah, if you see that wedding, yeah, I'm all into it, it's good. So many ladies want that. But at the end of the day, do you, have you really sat down to think about the repercussion of all this elaborate wedding? Not everybody elaborates wedding with favor. My head is different from your head. Emeka's head is different from Jennifer's head. Destiny magnifies. Even twins, destiny differs. But for the ladies, I'm talking about single people are now in general. Whether you're a single guy or single ladies, please take your time. Commit everything into God's hands. You want to have an elaborate wedding. See, it's not wedding we're talking about. After wedding, what comes out is what we should be talking about. It is not you having a big wedding that's what. See, what after the wedding, what comes out? See, weddings is no longer as before that. See, you know, it is very difficult for you to see wedding of 20 years, 30 years. It is not, it is not difficult. Wedding after marriage of five years, you see it has gone down the drain. Two years, one, one year, you see divorce here and there. No. So my beautiful ladies, guys, girls, before you engage yourself in any elaborate wedding, sit down very well. Think about the spiritual aspect. Open your eyes very well. Think about the spiritual aspect. Commit everything into God's hands. If you know you depend on Afa, you can go and pray with Afa. You can pray whatever means of you, whatever means of communicating with God. Communicate to God. Let God direct you. Let God plan that event for you. Don't just wake up and you decide to do. You know you want to have a big wedding. Don't. It is not his yo. So many people have problem now because of the gifts they got from their wedding. Because of the handshake, because of the org, because of the food they ate, so many people are into one problem or the other. The person you call your friend might not necessarily be the real friend. Even your family, the sister, the brother you're calling you, your, the person you're calling your brother, your sister might not even be the person you're thinking. So my dear brothers and sisters, please, let's open your eyes. Let's take calm down. Elaborate wedding is not for everybody. Not everybody that's, that, that engage themselves in ability that always escape through. I think I've, I've said one or two things. For those of people that will listen, should listen. And those that will learn, will learn. And if you know you have not followed my page, please, I beg you. Please, follow my page. Share this video. There are so many people that are out there that don't really know all these things. Please, share this video. Drop comments. Like. Share. Share. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you all and I continue to love you all. Make bye now. Yeah. Yeah. Chopper. <laughs>